Good afternoon. Thank you for being here. Uh, I've listened to every speaker before me, and I've got a couple of quick reactions uh, before I say a couple of things. First off, I have liked every Canadian that I have ever met. <laughs> Secondly, and I think that you guys have probably noticed this, I've been hit with the process that you've put in place here today, and I've noted that you know most of the speakers today haven't been extremists, they haven't been radicals, they haven't been crazies, they've been good, decent citizens, students, teachers, pipe fitters, here to try to do something for their country and their families, and I think that's great. My name is Jim Pfeiffer, and I've come to ask you to take the long view. I've lived my whole life in Nebraska, my children and grandchildren all live in Nebraska, my parents and grandparents all lived in Nebraska. Now, when you guys first came here and you thought about Nebraska, maybe you thought about corn and football. I'm guessing by now you think about water. As Senator Ben Nelson said when he was governor, water is the lifeblood of our state. We've seen lots of ads and heard lots of words talking about money, jobs, oil, the economy, and national security. When it comes to national security, Nothing is more basic, elemental, and crucial than water. It'd be a real drag, uh, but if I had to, I could go a week without driving my car. Maybe I'd borrow the mule that you could loan me. Uh, but I can't go a week without drinking water. I'm asking you to take the long view. Should this pipeline be built, it'll be here a long, long time. It'll be here long after I'm dead and buried. It'll be here long after many of the people who have built it are dead and buried. It'll be here for my grand great-grandchildren who I might, may not meet. You guys look kind of young. I hope you have children. Maybe you don't have grandchildren yet. If not, maybe sometime in the future. Take the long view. Your decision boils down to time and priorities. Stated simply, our water is too valuable and necessary and important to risk. And when I say risk, no scientist, no engineer, no human being can equivocally, unequivocally stand here and give a 100% guarantee that problems aren't going to occur. Without water, our security and well-being is lost. Say no to this pipeline. Thank you. Thank you.